Today I want to share some information about cloth wipes. We have gathered some frequently asked questions lately and I thought I would make a video for you guys today. So before I get started, I want to share first why we choose to use cloth wipes in the first place. Uh, most of you know that we already cloth diaper, so I figured we might as well use cloth wipes too. It saves us money. I feel that the cloth wipes clean much better than disposable wipes. We don't need a separate trash or container for them once they're used. I just toss them in the wet bag along with the dirty cloth diapers. We get to use them over and over again, so it's eco-friendly. And I feel much better being able to control the solution that I use for the wipes. We used to use disposable cloth wipes, and even when we had the hypoallergenic ones, bubs seemed to have a reaction all the time. So I feel much better knowing exactly what kind of ingredients I use on her skin. She definitely have had less rash breakouts over time. Of course, they're not completely un unavoidable, but we noticed that when we switched to cloth wipes, there have been less breakouts, a lot less breakouts. So the most frequently asked question is, how many cloth wipes do you need? And this will depend on three things. The first one would be the age of your baby. Newborn babies need to be changed more often. They also poop more often, so you would need more wipes when it comes to that. As they grow up, they will poop less and also their poop becomes more solid once they start eating. Uh, you would need less and less wipes. Usually I can get away with just using one wipe with a poopy diaper. If it's really, really messy, the maximum I would need would be about maybe three, but most of the time I can get away with just using one. It will also depend on the number of babies that you have. If you have multiple babies to use it with, you would most likely need more wipes just so you don't run out unexpectedly. And finally, it will depend on how frequent, or I guess in this case less frequent, you want to do laundry. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to do laundry every single day. Um, I do mine every four days, so I like to have enough wipes to last me in those days. And actually, I made 36 wipes, and I made this when Ara was about five or six months, and they've been enough for me so far, but recently, uh, we've gotten more cloth diapers, and I used to base my laundry on the amount of cloth diapers we have left, but now that we have more, I find that I'm starting to need more cloth wipes. Uh, so I'm actually planning on making more. So I think a good solid number to start with, a safe number to start with, is about 50 cloth wipes. I know that sounds like a lot, but when you use it, especially when you have multiples or younger babies, you want to make sure they have extras, especially on the days when you just can't do laundry that day and you want to put it off for the next day. It's good to have extra cloth wipes, that way you're not scrambling around the house looking for something to wipe your babies with. Next frequently asked question is, what are they made of? They are made of many, many different things. There is flannel fleece, cotton, cotton velour, a uh, terry cloth, and they can be made out of things that you already have on hand. I made mine out of baby blankets and pajama tops, flannel pajama tops that I never really used. And you can also actually just use plain uh, washcloths, baby washcloths, just the regular terry cloth stuff. Now, some materials clean better than the others, like the terry cloth ones and the cotton wipes tend to clean a lot better, but the flannel and the fleece ones are much, much softer. So you guys, you just kind of have to figure out what's best for your baby. Sometimes when they have an irritated skin, the terry cloth could be a little harsh for them. And so I use uh, double-sided ones. I made one side out of flannel and one side out of cotton. That way I can do the softer side first and then the cotton can clean up the rest of it. Now, uh, these would be pretty much useless if you use them just dry. So there are many different solutions that you can use. Uh, the most simple thing that you could use for this is just plain water. Just run them under the tap and then wring them out and then they're ready to use. There are also pre-made uh, wipe solutions that you can buy. There's one that's like a waxy, uh, it's called Wipe Bits. It's like a waxy little thing that uh, has all the ingredients you need already and you just dissolve it in hot water and you can use that. Or there's this wipe concentrate. It's a little formula that's concentrated which you dilute with water that you can use it. And of course my favorite is making them at home by myself. 
There are many ingredients that you can use. Um, there's water, of course. There's witch hazel, which is a natural astringent. It's perfect for rashes and all that stuff. There's different kinds of oils. There's baby oil, essential oils like tea tree oil, olive oil, uh, and coconut oil. You can also use baby wash or baby lotion and even aloe vera juice. So really, the recipe you can use mix and match or just use whatever you're comfortable with and eventually you'll find a solution that you and your baby are comfortable with and whatever is convenient for you. Now storing the cloth wipes, um, I just keep them stacked like this and I put them on top of the diapers. That's all I do for them, nothing special. Uh, but you can definitely uh, fold them into a wipes container like this. They could be dry or you can pre-moisten them with whatever solution that you're going to use and store them in here. Uh, you can also use a peri bottle, just squirt some on your baby when you're ready to use it and then wipe with a wipe. You can also use those wipe warmers, store them dry, keep them warm or pre-moisten and keep them warm in. Or use a separate container where you put all your solution in and you can just dip them in and wring them out when you're ready to use them. I like to use a small spray bottle with a small amount in there because I can take it anywhere and the, all of the wipes stay clean until I'm ready to use them. The problem with storing wet wipes for the long use is that the main ingredient you'll need is water and over time it will get mildewy and bacteria will start to spread and that's not really good for your baby. So use only short term use or if you want to last about five days or so, make sure that you use some tea tree oil because it has some antibacterial properties that will keep the mildew away uh, that will keep your wipes and your solution fresher longer. But like I said, for me, this is perfect and you will find uh, as you start whatever uh, setup you're more comfortable with. What do you do with them when they get dirty? I try to use as much of the wipes as possible. That way, if I can get away with just using one, then it's much better. Uh, I use the flannel side first to swipe, and then I fold, and then I wipe again, and then I fold again. And uh, when they're dirty, I just toss them into the wet bag along with the cloth diapers, dirty cloth diapers, and they just sit there until it's time to do laundry. Uh, I don't rinse them out. I don't feel the need to do that because uh, Bubs is 13 months old and she has ploppable poop and very rarely does she have any more peanut butter poops. Uh, if you are not comfortable with washing them just as they are, you can definitely rinse them out. But I've never done it. <laughs> I've never felt the need to do it because most of the poop stays in the diaper and you do your first swipe with a diaper anyway. So the wipes don't get that much dirty, um, as dirty as they can get of course with poop. So I just toss them in the wet bag. I don't have to do anything special to prep them for the wet bag. Now where to buy them? Uh, you can get them online anywhere that they sell cloth diapers. They would also usually sell cloth wipes. If you want to save money, you can definitely just use uh, the washcloths and uh, of course you can make them yourself and I actually have a tutorial on how to do that. I will put the link down below and you guys can check it out. Uh, if you want homemade ones that are not so pricey because of the name brands, they can get a little pricey. Uh, you can definitely order them on Etsy, the homemade ones. Uh, I can make you guys some if you want, just uh, send me a custom request. And you guys can check out one of my favorite Etsy stores, uh, Tattooed Mother Creations. She has awesome cloth wipes there and amazing cloth diapers and also other cloth diaper accessories. So you guys definitely have to check out her stuff because they're pretty awesome. I guess I've covered everything. Um, I keep a list to make sure that I give as much information as I can and I've gone through it already. <laughs> If you guys have any questions that I didn't cover today, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you guys. Please give the video a thumbs up because it helps us a lot and please subscribe for more videos. Bye.